And we know that happy marriages require work from both spouses to be successful. But what does a wife need from her husband? Hmm. Let's talk about that and much more here on this episode of Couples Pursue Live. Couples Pursue. Hello, this is Vincent. And Valerie. Woodard. Woodard. And on this episode of Couples Pursuit, we're going to talk about three important things your wife needs from you guys. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And look, I believe this topic is going to shed some light on some things that maybe your wife wanted to tell you, mm-hmm. men, but might not, couldn't quite figure out the best ways to. And so if you get this like video in your like DMs or your messages, or you might just get a your name tag on this video, don't don't be offended because we, we're going to share some good stuff here. You know, just going through the notes, it enlightened me. So um, <laughs> if you think this video would be something that you'd be inter- interested in or someone else would be interested in, I urge you to share. Also hit that like button, smash it. And leave a comment and let us know. We're gonna list three things, like my wife said, but it's you know it's not all inclusive. It could be so many more. But this is just you know the the three that we felt we wanted to deal with in this topic right here. So baby, yeah, give it to me. (laughs) The three important, three of the most important things. Yes, Mm -hmm. your wife needs from you. Needs from me. Spill, baby. What? What? Look, the first. Go ahead. No, you go. I'm just saying the first one I got. I, Tell us how it came about. I um asked my wife. I said, "Baby, mm-hmm. the topic for this week's episode." Actually, we tried to do this last week, but um, technical difficulties. It didn't quite work out. But uh, I said, "Baby, I got a good one. Mm-hmm. I got a good one. Um, I want to know the three most important things that a wife needs from her husband." My wife was like, okay. I said, but I need you to, you know, I, I, I need you to send to me the text so I won't get it wrong, you know. Or she could just tell me about it and I'd probably type it in wrong, whatever. I said, mm-hmm. send it to me in the text. And see, my wife is a thinker. She's like analytical. She's like, she you know, she likes to, you know, plan and, you know, she do things and thoughts, especially wordplay and stuff like that. I said, baby, I need my top three things. She said, bam, this is what I need. I said, okay. Well, <laughs> to be fair, you told me that night. <laughs> Uh, as we were preparing for bed. Okay. And I sent it to you first thing the mm-hmm. next morning. I okay. believe that's what happened. Okay, okay. But it, it okay. did sometimes he has a much longer turnaround uh-huh. period than that. <laughs> so I was quick to respond and I um I thought about things that I would want and then I thought about the conversations that I've had over the years with women, younger, older etc things that i hear common theme in movies and songs etc cetera, et cetera. and uh there were three things that are undoubtedly important to mm-hmm. me and uh we'll start with number one number one is i need your undivided the what yeah no yeah uh, your undivided attention. undivided attention now mm-hmm. now when i first heard that mm-hmm. my first uh reaction w- was like you wanted to be able to like um you know just share about your day or, or maybe vent or maybe you know you just you want to be able to out, not me to be the only one that comes on come in the house and baby you like how was your day and just be able to tell you everything that went on with my day mm-hmm. it was a little different though when, the way that you said it your undivided yeah. attention means to me your undivided attention means that you listen to me with your eyes Mm-hmm. With your ears, body, mm. with your heart. Um, it also means that when I'm talking to you, I'm speaking to you, that you care about what it is that I'm, um, that it's important to you that I have something to say, mm-hmm. and that you're able to retain what I tell you. Mm-hmm. Um, now we got this running joke in our house, and I guess it's a, joke, but <laughs> oftentimes. But I tell my husband something and he doesn't remember what I've told him. And that it used to be, uh, it used to cause a lot of commotion, arguments, disagreements, um, because I would feel like if you cannot retain what I'm telling you, what that translated to me was I'm not really listening to you. Mm. 
what you have to say is not important or I'm tuning you out. And um, he is pretty good at being laser focused and tuning people out. It's I don't want to be that person, Mm -hmm. you know, and I guess that can be a good thing because I'm the opposite. I I tend to absorb whatever's around me. Um, I can hear a conversation in the next booth, two booths over. I don't want to hear that if Mm -hmm. I'm in a restaurant, but I do. And um, and so then I have to do a lot more pushing the process out all that information so that I can concentrate on what's going on with me. But bottom line is I want my husband to listen to what I'm saying. Um, and I don't want him to ask me the answers to questions that I just told him. Mm. <laughs> yep. Yep. Guilty. Because that means Guilty. you weren't listening. Mm. Yeah. If you're on your phone, you're mm. not listening. If you are, um, I don't know, sweeping the pool, you're not listening. Mm-hmm. If you are uh, uh, looking through a magazine or a book, you're mm-hmm. not listening. You sell magazines? They, they do. Oh, okay. A newspaper, they still sell, <laughs> sell newspapers too. <laughs> magazines and books. <laughs> Physical, tangible mm. print. You know, all of the, if you're watching the game, you're not listening. Mm. Note to self. Don't talk to him while he's watching the game. Mm. Note to ladies or gents, if your wife is into sports. I am not. Um, no. Well, pickleball, I love that. But mm. other than other than that, I don't watch sports. But that's very important to him, and that's not a time that I should feel like I need to spill my... I'm more... That's the right answer. That's the right answer. But but, <laughs> but if, if it's like March Madness and I'm trying to talk to you about something, I probably need to wait. Yeah. Because though you will listen or pretend to listen, mm. <laughs> mm. though you will, I'll say try, you'll make an effort to listen. You probably will not retain what it is that I'm saying to you. Yeah. The retaining part. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah because well, there's no because explanation is Mm -hmm. um, I know sometimes Mm -hmm. I can get uh, trapped on okay this is this is an issue my wife has an issue that she she's trying to work through or she's Mm -hmm. trying to solve and I've learned to not really try to solve every issue that comes to me, you know, unless she asks for, babe, what do you think about this? Right. I've, I've learned to, you know, the, to hear the whole, you know, story unfold. But my mind still finds a way, mm-hmm. like a squirrel with a nut. It's, it's, it hears something. I'm like, oh, we can do this. This is all in my mind. We can do this and that, and then if this happened, and then then what that, and then I look back at my and wife. And I'm still talking. Yeah, she's, yeah, yeah. And I'm finishing the yeah. B and C part of my conversation, and he has gone off on a tangent with mm-hmm. with A, and so he doesn't recall. He might get bits and pieces, and what happens with me is I then will become. Um, not as much as I used to in the past. I don't even mention it as much. He doesn't do it as much. But we'll become very frustrated because I'm like, I just told you mm-hmm. the answer to that question. Why are you asking me for things that I've already given him? Um, and it and and the, let me let me just clarify. If your husband or wife has cognitive issues, they have issues with memory. If they have had Uh, TBI, traumatic brain injury, if they're dealing with pre-senile dementia, or if they are going through uh, mental health struggles, which will sometimes affect the memory and things like that. Uh, This is something you should expect. But my husband is fine. He's very healthy. (laughs) He has a great memory. (laughs) And uh, and so that's not the case. And so, um, yeah, it's important that you listen to Mm-hmm. Um, and That's, also that I listen to you. Mm-hmm. I've learned to stop what I'm doing. You know, it, if it's a if it's a conversation, that's one thing. It's a, if it's a question, or you know, it's just clarification. Uh, are you going to work today? Yes. Is yes or no? Okay. But yeah, are you going to work today? Well, I'm going to work today, but first I have to do X, Y, and Z, and blah 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 blah. 
And I have a tendency to go, and remember, such and such and such. And he'll be like, oh, she's going to work today. Back to whatever. And when I say remember, I have this appointment after work. So then when I don't come home, we're, uh, we're coming home at a certain time. Mm-hmm. So don't check out before it's yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah and, you know but we did talk about mm-hmm. we did talk about you know when we, when we was talking about this conversation i just want to you know just put it out there you really fire me up aren't you? i just want to put it out there <laughs> there's, there's some men out there i'm, you I'm know, a talker thank you. is that where you're going yes yes i am a talker and i have also learned to say okay i'm done to let him know, okay, now is a good time to jump in. Or he'll say, okay, well, I'm just waiting because are you were you finished? And sometimes I wasn't finished. You know, I am a person who is in many boxes at the same time. My husband is a, is a person who likes to be in the one box. <laughs> Clean up that box, sweep up, mop, get the duster, close the door, put the padlock on, <laughs> then go to the next box. Mm. I have many doors open at the same time. I have many things that I want to talk about that I'm dealing with, that I am uh, thinking and processing about. And so in order to be fair to him, I'm learning to rein in the number of things that I talk to him about at the same time, Mm -hmm. in the same conversation, because then I probably should not expect him to recall all of it. Yes. Is that good, dear? That is very good. I appreciate the disclaimer. (laughs) I do, you know, <laughs> and you know, but I know that it's something that I need to work on mm-hmm. and I continually try to work on it, you know, yeah. and I, I want to be able to um, give my wife the attention, you know, not only that she desires, but I, I like listening to her. I like listening to her talk, you know, I like I, the, her love of voice. I love listening to her talk, you know, even when she's upset about something and venting. Um, I'm not my, irate. My yeah, it's just a it's it's you know because she gives, she gives it's like a story. She gives me the whole the background and and also this played into it. Um, but I say all that to say <laughs> the retaining part is something that I'm working on uh-huh. because it's sometimes it is it's a matter of wow I I don't remember. Or, you know, say she brings something back, you know, because, yeah, because, you know, last year something, this, and you remember that right there? And I'm like trying to remember. Oh, You're digging for that. I don't know if I remember. No. <laughs> then, nope. That wasn't, was it, were we living here? Okay. And Never see, mind. then he might not say all of that, but he's thinking that. Yeah. And then if I'm still talking, he's missed something that I've said. Mm-hmm. I've given him, given him the precursor, but then, you know, he's thinking about that and so when I'm telling him how it relates to what's present he's still in that yeah, we got that we got that period pen in that undivided attention undivided fellas attention. write it down jot it or go to the notes I've written it down for you and if you give your your spouse your undivided attention mm-hmm. 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 number two number two uh, to know that I can depend on you. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Now, we've had a couple of conversations about what men want and need in a relationship. I believe it's one uh, chapters or sections in mm-hmm. masterclass. What a woman wants and needs. Of course, we always come from a biblical perspective mm-hmm. and what the husband's responsibility is, vice responsibility. The man wants to be respected for him. Respect is mm. love is respect. And for the woman, we want to be loved. We want to feel. We want to know uh, where we're going to live. <laughs> we want to know if we're going to eat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm joking about these things because we both, of, of course, contribute um, to our family. Mm-hmm. However. What's important for a woman is stability and security, and that does not always mean money. Yeah. Money is only a part of that. Mm-hmm. Finances are a part of that. But are you going to be where you said you're going to be? Mm-hmm. Are you going to do what you said you were going to do? Do yeah. you make promises and not keep them? Exactly. Do you ex- Continuously. Yeah, continuously. Yeah, you, you know, but not just to feel good. Right. You know, baby, we're going to work this out. 
<laughs> what about pet peeves <laughs> in a movie? My wife looks at me, baby. You can't, mm. you can't it's in the get, script. You can't change script. it. My, my, one of my pet peeves when somebody says, um, I promise you, I will be right back. <laughs> I'm like, you can't. Are you going to find my brother's killer? <laughs> yeah. I promise you. I promise you. And he's like, oh, Lord. <laughs> you can't promise. And for years, that was a word he would never use with me. It was like, I'm not going to promise you anything. Mm. He wouldn't say, I ain't going to promise you anything. But that was his 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 stance. Mm. I'm not going to say that I promise you anything. Because then if I don't do it, I got to hear about it. Mm. Right? We want to get to that effect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, um... And I'm not quite sure. Right. If I can. And then if I don't, you're going to be looking at me like. (laughs) um, Like, I know my my limitation is mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure. You know, you say something, we're going to be together forever. That's what I want to be. Are you going somewhere? No, I'm just saying, (laughs) you know, but you decide we we want to have, you know, you know, I don't know. I'm just saying. I need you to finish that sentence because I don't know where you're going. (laughs) You decide I'm not enough, you know. Oh, like I got to have. If you know, I decide that, yeah, you decide. That's what oh, I'm, that, no. that's the thing I'm talking about. But it's like, but even with that, it's like, you know, I know that I don't. I'm conscious of the fact that I don't want to say things. I'll continue to say things that I'm not even quite sure about. Right. You know, and it's like I weigh those because I don't want to tell you something that I'm not 100 percent sold on. Right. You know. That I could do, like I can't. I don't know if I'm better find your, you know, Doombuzz killer. You know, I, <laughs> I go looking for him. I promise you that. <laughs> I promise you that. <laughs> Will I find him? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, we went off. We went off on a tangent, but you all know that line in the movie would say, "Will you find my brother's killer?" You know, yeah. find my child. We're going to make sure. Well, you don't have any. You, you should not promise uh, to do anything that you don't have full control. Yeah. Because yeah. you don't. You don't know. But what I know he can do mm-hmm. is be loving. That's right. And be kind. Mm-hmm. Um, be responsible. Um, be loyal. Uh, be consistent. Yeah. And I that's need even to say that. with the sentence, I'm finishing that sentence of mm-hmm. okay, so so we have an affair or infidelity or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, I can't say I leave. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, wow. I, I don't even know. I don't say even know if I do that. that because I love you so much and I want this family to work. I want us mm-hmm. to work, and it's probably, you know, it's probably I probably had a part to play somehow, some way. Now I can't make her do anything. She can't make no. me do anything. But it's like I got to, you know. You know, take the um, the plank out my own eye and be like, you know what? Why'd you do this? Why'd you do that? Well, why didn't you, you know, why why did I do what I said I was going to do? I said I was going to love her for life. Mm-hmm. Am I loving her for life? Or did I take a break? You know, or did I take, <laughs> did I take a pause? <laughs> you know, <laughs> was it a timeout? You know, was it... <laughs> was it... <laughs> I'll, I'll say all that to say. <laughs> Okay. It's, it's no deal breakers, you know. <laughs> with that, I'm I'm gonna do the, you know, I'm 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 gonna do the very very best. And you pop, know, you let's know. let's qualify now. My husband is not a person that I can just run all over top of. Now, yeah. If I decided I was just gonna go be with somebody else, he either know I lost my mind, <laughs> or and that plays a part there's in. a problem. That plays a part, and it. it's like right, right, okay, right. well, you know, for to get to that bad for that point. Mm-hmm. That you bad. know something is wrong. Yeah. If I if I'm even giving another man my attention, mm-hmm. yeah. he knows. Okay, well, wait, 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 <laughs> wait a minute. Yeah, let me look at these symptoms. It's all those nights to come see. home and not speak and not talking. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a silent treatment. That teeth that'll show her. <laughs> yeah, that showed her all right. Ah, to know that she can depend on you. Yes. So that's what I'm yeah. talking about. It's like if I say I'm going to work and I'm mm-hmm. going to support and I'm going to provide, I'm going to do. You know, even if I got to pick up trash, mm-hmm. you know, if I, even if I have to work the worst job that I've and I've done that, and I've mm-hmm. run the worst job that I've done to work, and I'm just thinking to myself, okay, well, you know, I want to eat, my family want to eat, I, I'm going to work again tomorrow. I can't stand it, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, that, that that job eventually Ooh. got better. But it's just like mm-hmm. the fact that I want to be her, you know, stone, her rock. I want her, I want her to be able to depend on me, to lean mm-hmm. on me. And they better count on me, you know, emotionally and, and stability. Yeah, emotionally, physically, financially. 
You are a great support to me. You're my biggest. You're a confidant, you're a friend. And people don't often realize how important it is for your spouse to fill those spaces. Um, and I think we talked a little bit before about people having you know, work wives or mm -hmm. work husbands and having uh, intimate relationships with the opposite sex. And I say intimate, I don't mean physical. I mean, intimacy starts with a conversation. It starts with sharing vulnerabilities, weaknesses. And you said something good, that sharing things that you don't know, don't you share with your spouse? You know, right. sharing things with someone else. Let someone else end those yeah, crevices no. and cracks. No, that... no, 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 no. There is a space, There, mm -hmm. there is a force field around us. Yes. That is our bubble. Mm -hmm. That's right. You cannot get into our bubble. That's right. This, this. I don't care who you are. Mm -hmm. That's right. This space right here. She, she got spaces all up in. And people that know me, she oozes out of me. And I know I don't mean disgusting anybody, but I'm just saying, my wife is so much into me that someone can, can, can that would know me. They know her. Mm -hmm. It's never of. I didn't know you had a wife. No. Oh, it's he's not. married. <laughs> yes, he is. No, nice to meet you. <laughs> never that. Never that. <laughs> if you know, if I'm saying if you know me, I'm not saying if you don't know me. You right, right, right. Me. Anyone saying, who you, knows you, Vincent you, knows that I'm his wife. Mm -hmm, yeah. And that's not because, I mean, he works at the type of, um, where he works, his office is, is within um, a facility that no one can just walk into. Mm -hmm. I've been to your office one time mm -hmm. in the 20 five years we've been together mm -hmm. um, is that kind of place. They don't have, you know, people off the street that frequent, but his mm -hmm. co-workers, they know who I am mm -hmm. and they know what the I do. The cleaning lady knows who she much <laughs> is. The people, <laughs> my boss man, everybody. They you know. know about every, every accolade, probably every show, every engagement yeah. um, that I have because I, I've been singing since I was a, a wee little girl. We've mm -hmm. recorded together. My husband has been my producer and manager my husband for years yeah. and um and yes yeah, so that is very true and likewise um people may not know who my husband is but they definitely know i have one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they definitely know that and if a gentleman um uh, decides that he wants to approach me one of the first things he's going to find out is that i am married mm -hmm. And I once, I've told this before, but I once told the guy, I said, I'm so happily married, it would make you sick. Yo, I mean, he asked you that. He said, are you married? You said, yes, yes. I am. And he asked you that other famous follow-up question from a guy. Are you happy? <laughs> well, what you going to do if I ain't? <laughs> what can you do for well, me? What? <laughs> Person who I just met. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And you so, told him. I, I'm so happily married that it would make you sick. <laughs> I like that. Because people don't understand the kind of love that we have um, settled into, that we uh, fought for, that we almost lost, mm -hmm. that we were blind to, is the love that, that God means for a husband and wife to have. Mm -hmm. When um, we talk about husband and wives, I talk about the covenant being a threefold cord. It's like a braid. And if you have a braid, um, it's very difficult to pull one strand apart from the other without destroying it. Mm -hmm. And that is that is how we are. We're, we're, we are bound together. And we're bound together um, not just because we have rings of gold on our fingers, but because we're bound together um, in, in love. We're bound together by the covenant, by the promise that we made to one another and to God. And what people don't often realize is that even if you don't uh, subscribe to, if you don't believe in a faith, you don't believe in Christ and Christianity, um, history has shown that it is much, much easier or, or much more difficult for people to, to separate once they have decided to divorce. Mm -hmm. It is a ripping, a pulling, a tearing apart, even if they want to be apart from the other person. The process of removing them from your life, moving yourself from their lives, separating all of your things and, you know, for, uh, remembering, um, you know, what they were like, what they smell like, what they look like. Um, the remnants of them that remain in your relationship is proof that it's more than a physical coming together. Mm -hmm. It's more than that. 
And so um, I believe that's the way that it's meant to be. And uh, that's the way it is. The Woodards are, are uh, we are one. Mm-hmm. We know should that, be. They know that she can depend on you. Yeah, independent. Number two. Number three. Number three. And the last one. Mm-hmm. To be honest oh, uh-huh. yeah, and faithful. Honest and faithful. Now, honesty includes omission. Mm-hmm. My husband is a is a good guy. You know, I, I don't I don't worry about this, but this is important to me. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think it's important to a lot of, of women. I think it's important to most women. You know, we live in a, a day and age now where some women are like, well, I don't need no man and I don't rah, 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 you know, all of this. Uh, well, I may not need a man. I can survive without my husband. God forbid if something happened to him, I know God is going to take care of me. I have um, skill and ability to, to care for myself, to take care of myself. But I want my husband. Mm-hmm. I want him in my life. But I also want him to be honest mm-hmm. and faithful to me. It's not by, um, it's not under any circumstance that I agree to, to stay with him. Um, uh, for instance, he couldn't abuse me. And, and I say, oh, well, that's been mm-hmm. so. No, no. Um, but it's very important that if I ask you a question, you give me an answer. Mm-hmm. You don't try to make up something. You don't try to, uh, you don't tell me part of it and leave out the other part, even if you think you're doing it to, to protect me. Mm-hmm. That's dishonesty. Yeah. Um, I should be able to handle whatever it is you have to tell me, even if it's something about myself. Mm-hmm. I should be able to handle that uh, and vice versa. So be honest. Don't leave out things. Oh, well, I just, I was trying to protect you. You're not protecting me. Lies don't protect me. Mm. Lies don't protect me. Lies deceive. And if you feel comfortable being deceptive, that's, that's an issue mm-hmm. uh, for me. And to be faithful, um, it's not just to be faithful in not having a physical uh, relationship with someone else, want someone else, not having intercourse, but being faithful in that, back again to that bubble that no one uh, comes before me mm-hmm. and no one comes before him. That is a promise we've made to one another, forsaking all others. We cling to one another. So if anyone thinks that they can come out of infiltrate, you know, try to tell him something about me or try to tell me something about him. Oh, no, no, no. I know the character. My mm-hmm. knows my character. And um, we need to make sure that we honor that, that we don't share with uh, the opposite sex things about our spouse mm-hmm. that would, uh, that are not necessary. There's certain certain things people just don't need to know about your, your husband or your wife and sharing those things uh, it's a it's a violation of their privacy so be faithful to your house in that you don't demean her or, or share her weaknesses or comments with other people ask you honest about mm-hmm. if she asks you how you feel about something be honest and, and by all means please don't be this guy <laughs> Well, I'm just honest, brutally honest. You know, you ask me, I'm going to tell you. Well, okay, you can be honest, but you don't have to be honestly rude, and mm-hmm. honestly tactless, and honestly uh, uh, abrasive. You can say what you need to say, even if it's something that, um, you know, that me that may alert her to the fact that she might need to make some adjustments, mm-hmm. you know, that you notice something is different. Uh, and I'm not just talking about physical Many, many things happen in our lives. And, and during the course of 25 years, we've had very many experiences that that we could share. But honesty has honestly been the best thing mm-hmm. for us. And being able to be, be vulnerable with one another. Because if you can, number one, listen to and give each other your undivided. And... Number two, um, okay. Um, I'm getting ready. Faithful. But number two, make sure that your spouse can depend on you. This can go both ways. And number three, be honest. 
faithful, those things in, in itself will sustain you mm-hmm. in every situation that possibly come instant. That's so good. That yeah. is so good. So hopefully you got something <laughs> from this and hopefully you, it was able to help our men and women. Yeah. I believe that our whole, we started Couples Pursuit um, with the mode of being transparent, mm-hmm. helpful, and because some things we've been through, a lot of things we've been through, probably everything we've been through, <laughs> uh, is for um, to, to lead us to a point right here, right yeah. now, to be able to um, help someone else um, make it through. Because you could be, we was in the position, and you heard our testimony before, we was talking about separating and, and divorcing. And, and we didn't divorce, but we talked, we was um, emotionally separated, living in the same house. And, we and, were know, physically separated, living. Well, house yeah, that for too. about six months. We and were, um, yeah. And so we, we've we've been through. Mm-hmm. We've been through, and we are able. And this is what all these videos about. All these videos, y'all see, they keep making videos. Man, we 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 have so much because we know there's somebody right now, unfortunately, that might be going through a situation um, that we can help you with. And yeah. that's why we started Couples Pursuit. And if you desire more, desire to, um, you know, need some more advice, need some more coaching. And we're not mm-hmm. therapists, but we are um, able to help you because we actually been through it. We know, mm-hmm. you know, what you're going through right now. It's not just mm-hmm. a book theory. We know what you're, right. you know, a lot of things. And the things that we might not know, I believe that we can give you the tools help you make it through so if you decide to work with us just want to know a little more about us give us a call you know you can go to our website at couplespursuit.com um slash forward slash talk and that'll lead you to um, a place where you can just book a call a little calendar that we have see what openings we have and we'd love to talk to you absolutely yeah. like you said there are many couples that are going through uh, uh, turmoil difficulty indifference in their marriage and feel like oh well I don't think this is going to work or there's nothing I can do or he's never going to change or she's never going to change and we have thought all of that mm-hmm. and again like my husband said to the to the brink of divorce discussing uh, dividing up property how we're going to handle the children um, sleeping in separate rooms mm-hmm. and all of the angst and the, the uh, frustration uh, combined with for us, yeah. the love that was still there, uh, but the the indifference, the, the difficulty that we couldn't see through, the stumbling blocks that we kept tripping over, the obstacle that were, were pride and frustration and uh, ignorance, like truly not knowing mm-hmm. something. Um, we learned how to surrender to what's right rather than who is and we learned that the biggest thing we could do for one better. And I will not promise you because you should promise things you don't know if you can deliver. <laughs> but I am I am pretty sure that if you were to apply the principles that we apply to our our relationship, our family, it's going to enhance your relationship. Yeah. It's going to improve your communication. And and that will trickle down to your children, family. That's 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 a that's a promise. Yeah. I, I I just I, you can't go wrong yeah. with intentionally pursuing your spouse. Mm-hmm. I just I I think that's a problem. Yeah, <laughs> it's important to me that he's happy, healthy, thriving, satisfied, and fulfilled, mm-hmm. and all of those things. Even though it's not my responsibility, I'm happy. Um, I'm a part of his happiness mm-hmm. and I can contribute to that. I definitely should not get away from that. And part of the joy of Mac yeah. is that we get to we get to share this life together. Yeah, we get we, to do marriage together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's we good. want we want you to feel the same uh love and companion that we do despite how far away we were from from this Mm-hmm. Bliss years ago. Wow, you wouldn't believe it, but give us a call. Yeah, yeah. And yeah it, give us a call. It, it definitely just starts with you, starts mm-hmm. with recognizing 
your you know things you need to work on mm-hmm. because a better you makes a better better me makes a better we it's, and it's either or right she said the same thing so right. yeah uh that's good that's yes good. so thank you for joining us uh we probably have gone a little bit over time but um we thank you for being with us again and we uh we pray for you that the lord bless you and keep make his face shine upon you be gracious to you give you peace open your heart and your mind to receive the love that he has for you and also to remember the love that you have for your spouse and that your spouse has for you we pray that you um you just dig into the possibility that it can live Mm -hmm. that it can it can survive Mm -hmm. and that you can don't draw any lines in the sand because i'm not going to put up with this or that because then you set up an obstacle uh, for you to trip over mm-hmm. you set up um, set up boundaries and set up temptation for um for the enemy to come in and say well i'm going to present the situation and surely he or she will leave there's nothing that um cannot do mm-hmm. together we stay together and love one another having said all of that we just uh we hope to see you here again next time and until then enjoy We'll see you again on Couples Live. Bye. Bye.